Welcome to Blue Flyer TV again. Blue Fly here. So today we're gonna try something different. Uh, we got this uh, the Fly Tracks Fly Tracker, and I just of course cut it open here. Let's pop these things out. Fly Tracks, of course, the obligatory uh, obligatory sticker there. So that's kind of cool. And we have the cable. Let's see here. This is the cable uh, for the for the 350QX, um, and of course, this is the module itself, the Flytrax Flytracker module. It's right there. It's a nice uh, small piece, perfect under the uh, that will fit under the 350QX. The micro SD card slot I can see is right over there, and uh, looks like a sturdy design. Nothing fancy, it just, you know, looks durable and sturdy and I believe, yeah, this thing goes, replaces the GPS um, wire and then inside the 350QX, this is where you plug in the, uh, the uh, 350QX GPS and then this end right here, the black end, goes inside this module so um, that's pretty much it just a couple of pieces looks pretty simple so uh, let's install it okay so after removing the uh, the screws underneath uh, we can uh, lift the uh, the top cover of the 350QX and what we're replacing is the cable not well we are replacing the cable from the, the GPS um, down to the motherboard there's a wire that extends down there so that's what we're replacing so it's going to be from here it extends down there hooks up to the motherboard and that's what we're doing we're replacing um, that and bypassing it with this cable so that we could attach the uh, the flight tracks module um, onto this it's a um, no, it's a pretty tight fit but uh, it's doable we just have to be careful about uh, removing that uh, that connection from the motherboard so uh, that's the next step okay so I got the uh, the flight tracks cable right here installed on and replacing the uh, the GPS cable here the original cabling to the motherboard it's fairly um, it's fairly easy it kind of just snaps in there just be careful and just take your time kind of um, work it in there nice and slow you don't have do you want to force it down down here because you could damage but um, it's actually um, a pretty nice uh, connection there nice and snug it just locks in there and so now I'm just gonna connect I'm just gonna connect the um, the GPS the, the uh, GPS to the Flytrex um, cable here and again it's just putting it right here they made it pretty simple and easy because you can't really make a, a mistake it only fits one way okay so according to the flight tracks manual once you install the GPS wire to the flight tracks cable which is now this one is you want to make a loop around there around the uh, the battery box the 350 QX battery box which is where the GPS and the compass is in, um, installed so just make a nice tight loop try to hug the battery box right here the gray battery battery box as close as you can so you're avoiding the, um, the the holes where the screws will be going through and the same token you make it nice and snug too around the uh, the battery box and there's in the the connector the black connector goes inside the or the pre-made skid um, hole over here which is uh, which is excellent I can tell that flight tracks did their homework because it easily goes through there and the connection is fairly simple so the next step is just hooking up the flight tracks cable to the actual uh, flight tracks uh, flight tracker module so to complete the, uh, the installation process so you can see where the wire came out from the uh, the holder on the skid came comes off and then you just install it click it in there on the actual uh, flight tracks module here and uh, you you can velcro double side tape it right there 
on the bottom of your 350QX okay and of course don't forget to install the uh, the micro SD card there just a quick suggestion don't put all the screws on uh, right away my suggestion would be install the the heavy the two heavy skid screws and install all the uh, the three screws for each of the motor area and then maybe a couple more on the outside and then go outside and do some testing first test the GPS lock make sure you're getting GPS lock um, and if you're not you could easily you know uninstall maybe 10 screws and then you know run a test again this way you don't have to screw on all those screws screw it up because you're not going to be flying it at first you just want to test your GPS first and then once you get a GPS lock then put all the screws on and um, have at it alright so that's basically the uh, the install phase of the flight tracks flight tracker module uh, this is a blue flyer hopefully that kind of gives you an idea what to expect if you guys do decide to get the flight tracks flight tracker module once again subscribe uh, like the video make comments questions all that good stuff all right take it easy fly safe bye bye